Hello everyone and welcome to Megaponics. These are 11 days old tomato seedlings of indeterminate variety. We'll be picking the best two seedlings. After carefully separating the seedlings, we will replant them as oasis cubes so that they can be transferred to a hydroponic system. It is very important to wash the seedlings properly before replanting. Split the oasis cubes and gently place the seedlings between two parts. Ensure that roots are properly placed so that they touch the water in the reservoir. Now place them carefully in a net pot in such a way that roots hang from bottom. This is a 2-inch net pot, however, it is recommended to use 3-inch net pot for better support. Cover the top with clay pebbles to support the plant and also to stop the light from entering the nutrient solution. As you can see, the top is properly covered and sufficient roots are hanging from the bottom of the net pot. We will be using this container as for our DWC hydroponic system. This is ideally used to grow leafy vegetable but we can grow two vegetables in this container. Here's the pump that's attached through the pipe that oxygenates the water. This is the ideal water level, it's just touching the net pot. On day 14, we will place the net pots in the system. As you can see the roots are touching the water. Plants should happy with this setup. After few days, we will add the nutrients. First we will check TDS of the water. It is around 55 ppm. Add three part nutrients one by one in the reservoir. Mix thoroughly and then recheck the TDS. It is 248 ppm. This is good to start with. Then it's time to check pH. This is the most important factor that affects plant growth. The pH is around 6.5 and we need it between 5.5 to 6. So we will add few drops pH down solution and mix well. Now we'll recheck the pH. It is around 5.7, which is the ideal range. This is the growth after 5 days of transplanting. Seedling 1 will be transplanted outdoor in 100% cocoa peat. We will upload the video soon. Seedling 2 will be grown here hydroponically. Plants seems to be loving the hydroponic system as the growth looks pretty good. It is important to change the NPK ratio to transition the plant to flowering stage. The plant has already started flowering. Now we'll check the root growth. The growth is very good and healthy. We made the nutrition solution more stronger to encourage more flowering and results are visible. The strength of the nutrition solution might be approximate 1300 ppm. You can see lots of flowers on the plant and the best part is there is no flower drop and some flowers have also started fruiting. To get these kind of results you really don't need to do much when you are growing in hydroponic system. Tomato flowers contain both the male and female parts, so more than one plant is not needed for reproduction. 
you can simply shake the plant gently to pollinate or twirl the brush back and forth and around the inside of the petals, along the pistil, and over the tip of the stigma. This will collect and transfer pollen grains. Upon successful pollination, the flowers will wilt and begin fruiting. Tomatoes are nutrient hogs. You will have keep refilling your reservoir at regular intervals especially in summer. We will check the TDS before refilling. It is 1380 ppm. We will add stronger nutrient solution to the reservoir. The strength of nutrient solution is 1750 ppm. We will add more stronger nutrient solution to take the TDS up to 1870 ppm. Flowers have successfully fruited and we can see plenty of tomatoes. This is the indeterminate variety. Indeterminate plants just keep growing and growing until something stops them. Gardeners with long growing seasons can take advantage of this trait. Receiving small but frequent harvests from each plant after it reaches maturity and throughout the growing season. The plant's energy keeps going into growing more foliage along with producing fruit, which results in smaller quantities of fruit over an extended period of time. Now it's time to harvest the fruit of your hard work. It is recommended to cut the bunch to increase the shelf life. The size of the tomatoes are moderate. Hope you have liked the video. Please do like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Do like, share and subscribe to Megaponics. You can watch more videos by clicking above on our newest video or related video.